Oh, hello? Hello. Oh, hello. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm all right. How are you? Uh, yeah, I'm doing great. Uh, what is your name? My name is Ron. What is yours? Oh, my name is David. Nice to meet you, Ron. Meet you too, David. Where are you from? I'm from South Korea. What about you? Where are you from? Well, I am from the United States, but I live in the Philippines. Oh, you live in the Philippines right now? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay, I got it. Yeah, which part of the Philippines you live in? I live in the capital, actually. I live in Manila. Oh, Manila? Oh, I think I've heard of Manila. And, oh, yeah, I didn't know that it was the capital of the Philippines. Oh, yeah, that is Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, most it. people you actually speak there. English here. Oh, what do I oh. do here? Sorry, my bad. Uh, I am a full-time Cambly teacher here. Um, oh, maybe, like, in the future, I'll be, like, a teacher in the schools. But as of now, since COVID, you know, everything's online. I just teach oh, yeah, online. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It sounds like COVID is pretty terrible. Like, is it that terrible? I mean, can you go outside? Now we can. After two and a half years, now we are able to go outside. And we still have to wear the mask, though. But we could do pretty much everything normal, kind of, you know, <laughs> kind of normal. Uh, it's not that bad. Not like it was last year. We had, like, curfews. Children were not allowed outside. Uh, it was crazy. Curfews. Oh, I see. Early. Oh, yeah. That's good to hear that, you know, it's, mm -hmm. the cases are a little better there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about in in uh, Korea? Uh, so, well, actually, I think these days it's not the trouble as, as you know, in the past it was pretty terrible. But these days I don't think it's that trouble. But you know what? Uh, my mom and my brother had a COVID a few days ago. So, oh, yeah, I think. Snap. I know it was. They said it was really terrible. I mean, they had a mm -hmm. high fever. Mm -hmm. Also, really, you know, they also had a cough, and also they said they said food tastes really bad. They said, yeah, it was really terrible. So I hope, I I hope, you know, I think yeah, we need to stay uh, safely. Yeah, that's uh, that kind of sucks. Actually, are they do they still have the symptoms of? COVID. I mean, so right now they're pretty fine. I mean, they only have a cough, but not like a you know really strong cough. They only have yeah. a, a, you know they sometimes cough. cough. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. And but actually, yeah, they're these days they're doing fine. But we still wear masks uh, when we meet together. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, yeah. Yeah. Stay safe. You know, always wash your hands. You should be okay. No, it's not a, I know. a big deal. So, you know what? These days, I wash my hands really often. And <laughs> I, yeah, I clean my house often as well. Like, uh -huh. so yeah, I spray, I have a spray, uh, which can mm -hmm. uh, make it, make the house clean. And mm -hmm. I, how do I say? I sprinkle the spray. Did I say it right? Yeah, you can sprinkle spray or you can... That's another word, like spritz, spritz. Oh, yeah, I, spritz I, yeah, I spritz yeah. the spray everywhere. Mm -hmm. Like, so yeah. if they touch mm -hmm. the door, uh, door, how do I say? Uh, <laughs> they touch the doorknob? Door 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 oh. Yeah, well, is it the doorknob? Can you translate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me type it. All right, let me look. Oh, door handle. You could say door handle or doorknob. Oh, door hand. Okay, yes, yeah, so, yeah. Uh, so yeah you know they touch a lot of door handles because you know they need to go inside and outside so yeah i split some spray on the doorknob uh to be safe and yeah also wash all the hands and yeah i need to wear a mask and we you know we eat a breakfast in a different place i mean so for example i eat my breakfast in my room and mm -hmm. they eat their breakfast in you know their room so you know we yeah, need to be very good. safe i mean a COVID is, I, I think it's pretty dangerous, you know. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You no, know, you have a, you're, you, yeah, you're become really sick. And yeah. Yeah. I also heard that after COVID, uh, yeah, if you had COVID and after that, you have a, a, well, how do I say this? Well, can you translate this? Yeah. Yeah. After effect. Oh, after, well, can you type that in English?
oh after effect you know after you know so if you have covid you have an after effect which is pretty you know which is not good so yeah, yeah we not fun. Really <laughs> i know well yeah by the way have you ever had a covid to be honest maybe i never took a test to get the to see if i did have it but there was a point last two years ago when i got really sick my body was in pain and i had lost a sense of taste so oh. maybe <laughs> oh, oh, so you didn't get the test like why you didn't no. get the test you didn't want to know that you got yeah i didn't want to know i didn't want to know uh it was like at the beginning of the year so i was kind of still scared you know terrified of covid it was at the very beginning so i just like eh. I just... oh wow i see well, yeah, that's really <laughs> Oh, yeah, you're really interesting. It's actually, yeah. you know what? It's my first time, yes, someone is saying I didn't test, even though I'm sick. Uh -huh. It's everyone's, uh -huh. but yeah. Oh, yeah, you're really interesting. I wish, you know, I could pass the COVID, even though I had it, because I don't yeah. want I don't want to know that, yeah, I have a COVID. Yeah, no, I don't want to know. I just, I'll get through it. I, I think part of being sick is a mindset. If you think you are sick and some people stay sick because they think they're always sick. So I think if I don't, if I think it's just like a normal cold, maybe I can get through it. That's how I think. Yeah, I think that is better. I think, you know, if you know you're sick, then you're really sick. But maybe if you don't know, you know, if you don't know, it's better. I, I don't know why. Right, but, right. <laughs> I think, it, yeah, everything is better. So for example, mm -hmm. if I know that uh, I have a COVID, I'll be, you know, really sick and tired. Mm -hmm. But if I don't know, then, you know, I'll, how do I say? I just thought I'm okay. Yeah, you I just think. get through like whatever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's why I don't want to know that I have a COVID. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I did. Um, and my my wife as well. She got really sick too. Maybe it was COVID. I to be honest with you, I'm starting to think it really was COVID. But again, I didn't take the test to find out. So. Oh, by the way, your wife was also sick. Yeah, my wife and my son. They got sick like right after me, me, then my wife, and then my my son. Oh, and they also didn't test if they have nope. COVID. <laughs> no. Oh my god! Oh, yeah. You're so funny. Wow. I don't know. I my wife, she was also scared of COVID at that time too. She was like extremely terrified. She didn't want to go outside or anything. Um, and then we got sick one day. But I didn't think, like, I refused to believe I had COVID. I just didn't want, I, I didn't want to deal with that. Because if you go to the hospital and say, I have COVID, then you get quarantined. And they don't quarantine you in your home. They take you to a strange place. So I know. I didn't want to do that. <laughs> oh, that's why uh, you, you don't want to know that you have a COVID. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty much. I don't want to be taken. Yeah, because, you know, if you're quarantined in a strange place, you know, you might feel uncomfortable and, uh -huh. you know, you just want to be in home even though you're sick. Uh -huh. I mean, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. But actually, with these days, oh, yeah, by the way, do they still quarantine in other places like hospital? Or these days, they can quarantine in their room? In I want to say they don't really quarantine anymore. Oh, really? Even like, though they yeah. have a COVID? Yeah, yeah, they don't really, even if you um, come abroad, like let's say you come visit the Philippines, you don't have to quarantine as long as you have been vaccinated. Oh, so if you have vaccinated, then you don't need to be quarantined. I mean, you can just, uh, so if I travel to Philippines, I can move, I can, you know, move to Philippines right away. I mean, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. arrive in you Philippines just right away. Go right up, out and about, as long as you have your proof that you're vaccinated. Oh, I see. But if I don't have my vac, if I don't have the proof that I have a vaccine, then I need to be quarantined. Yeah, you have to be quarantined, and you. I think they still make you take the the test to get for COVID. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. I got it. <laughs> well, you good then? You good to go? You can travel, man. <laughs> oh yeah, I. Oh, well, especially I in the U.S. too. Especially in the U.S. Uh, U.S. Well, yeah, in in America. They literally do not care about COVID. You don't even have to wear a mask. You can do whatever oh, you want. Oh, well, yeah, I, I know. I think this, <laughs> I think this is pretty interesting because, yeah, actually, you know what? Uh, yeah, I've seen some YouTube videos and, yeah, the guy mm -hmm. who, who makes videos from America and, yeah, he was not wearing a mask uh, in outside. Mm -hmm. 
And also, yeah, uh, the people in the video were not wearing a mask. I mean, so yeah, mm -hmm. this YouTuber did something like this. So yeah, he met people and he did something like, yeah, so he's the social experiment and he also mm -hmm. some pranks, but yeah, well, they were all not wearing masks. So yeah, I think it's pretty, you know, interesting for me because we are, we <laughs> always wear masks. Oh yeah, that is real interesting. Yeah, I mean, even, it's, oh, go ahead. Uh, yeah, and then, but you said in Philippines they wear a mask. Yeah, they wear a mask um, in public. I, well, I guess everywhere you have to wear a mask everywhere because even, well, okay. So people in my neighborhood, let's say you want to just walk around your neighborhood, like just talk to your neighbors, something like that. You won't peep, you won't see people wear a mask. But if they like leave their neighborhood, then they will wear a mask. Oh, I see. So if they mm -hmm. have to move to you know different place, yeah, uh, then they need to wear a mask. I mean, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, but I think in South Korea, I mean, where I live, I think yeah, we need to wear a mask. But actually, I don't think lots of people care. You know, some people they mm -hmm. just don't wear a mask, uh, and be, be, because you know it's summer, especially you know in summer it's really hot, so some people right. don't right. wear a mask, and yeah, so I think he has some people ignore the rule. <laughs> I even sometimes uh, took yeah took off my mask, take off my mask. Uh, mm -hmm. But I'm so hot, but you know I just wear it right away. Because, yeah, me too. You know, after I swept my you know mouth and then yeah I wear it right away right. because I, feel, I right. sweat so much and you know if you have a wet mask on it yeah you feel so that's why yeah it's gross yeah I agree. No. Well yeah I, I wish yeah I think yeah the winter is. The best season in corona season because you know i think it, it is pretty better i think it's good to wear a mask in winter because you know mm -hmm. uh if you're when you're cold if you wear a mask uh, you can be less cold and mm -hmm. yeah you can be uh, pretty safe from corona so i think yeah winter is the best season for corona yeah and other sicknesses too not just corona like you protect it from like the common cold and stuff like that because people still yeah. get regular sick so you are still safe from regular sick too i know so i think yeah, yeah it's a really good season you always wear mm -hmm. a mask in winter mm -hmm. i mean even though there is no covid lots of people wear a mask because they don't want to be mm -hmm. cold and don't want to be mm -hmm. they don't want to have cold as well so yeah I think right. It's really good. right yeah I, I do this um even in the u.s oh question you said it in the winter so does it how cold does it get in south korea uh i think oh i don't know about winter i think it's not that cold it's kind of like a you know normal winter but in summer it's super hot i mean so well mm. actually yeah i mean these days it's so hot you you we're on summer and the degree the normal degree is like 37 36 so you're super hot Actually, yeah, that's pretty hot, man. That's almost 40. That's crazy. I know. I think the, the highest degree in my city is it's close to 40. Well, I'm not really sure. I think it's 39 or 38. But, you know, oh it is gosh. really hot, even though you, you can't live without the air conditioner. I oh, mean, my gosh. Well, actually, you know what? Uh, these days, the air conditioner mm -hmm. in my house is not working well. So we don't <laughs> oh use, my air goodness. We use the fan. But even though the even though if the fan is working, it's still hot. Um, I don't yeah, know why. Yeah, of course, of course, it's just <laughs> circulating the heat that's still in there. It doesn't blow out the heat; it's just spinning it I around. Know. <laughs> it's so annoying. <laughs> actually, oh, actually, you know what? I hurt my ankle, so I had my cast uh -huh. on it. But you know, mm -hmm. it's really hot, so it's hard for me to wash. But I sweat a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I can't sleep Ooh, in the itchy. night. Yeah, because, you know, itchy. It's itchy and also really sticky. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. It's terrible. Mm -hmm. Well, I wish I could uh, take on my cast as soon as possible. How did you hurt your, uh, you said your knee or leg? Oh, ankle. Oh, ankle, sorry. Ankle. How did you oh, hurt yeah. your ankle? Uh, actually, I was playing soccer and actually my friend kicked the ball and I stepped on the ball and I fell and I twisted my ankle. Oh, so, yeah. I know that's. Oh yeah, I know, but yeah, but actually, uh, there's a good news. Like uh, a few days ago, I went to see doctor, and doctor said, the doctor said, uh, I can uh, take off the cast in about uh, one or two weeks. So 